You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is an unboxing. I got this FedEx package on my porch this morning, and I am pretty psyched about this. I know more or less what's in here, but uh, I am excited to see it. So let's get in here. Trusty uh, Benchmade Griptilian. Gift from a friend. A viewer. Let's get in here. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Throw that over there. Box. Eh. Come on now. This is from Kenro Industries. <laughs> oh! Trying to get that open without destroying the box was not as easy as you might think. All right. Okay. <laughs> another bag. Another bag in this box. Some rattling. Aha! Uh -huh. It is nearly Fountain Pen Day that is coming up in November, and we have Fountain Pen Day uh, worldwide uh, buttons and stuff. So these will be. Uh, I'll be giving these away. Not at the moment, but in the near future. Look at those. Those are great. I love that green. It's a super good look. Nice FPD sticker. Very cool. Bookmarks. FPD 10. Is this the 10th anniversary of Fountain Pen Day? Wow. That's wild. Very cool. All right. There's those. What's this? Oh. Okay, so this is the Esterbrook SD Nouveau Blue in Palladium. This is uh, a new version of this pen, a whole new material and such. Uh, and the Esterbrook SD is a pen that I have liked for quite a while. I actually, I ran and grabbed my, my SD Oversize. This is the original one in black. We'll compare these a little bit later. Here's the usual Esterbrook box here with this nice fabric exterior. Very nice presentation. Open this up. You have your uh, Esterbrook uh, information. Oh, activation code. What's what's that for? What does that activate? Oh. I guess it's for the warranty page. Interesting. I've never noticed that on there before. Maybe it's new. All right, here is the pen. There is an ink cartridge in there. I'm really more of a converter guy. I'm sure there's a converter in the pen. We'll set that over there. And this is the brand new Esterbrook SD Blue, or uh, yeah, Nouveau Blue. Uh, I got this one with palladium trim. That's that silver trim here. You can also get it with a gold trim. And uh, they were equally tempting to me because the pictures make the gold look very nice. And you can see with this material, which looks a little bit like a, looks a, little bit like a celluloid almost, you have uh, these little chatoyant bits that pick up the silver and are amplified by that. On the gold trim version of this pen, you end up picking up these little, I don't know, brownish, bronzy bits, and they become more gold, I think, uh, when you have this the gold near them, right? It kind of picks up those, those various tones. So I actually don't think you can go wrong with either of the finishes on this pen. This is... This is real pretty. It's actually a lot better, I think, in person than even on, on the pictures that I saw online yesterday uh, when they started hitting my, my mailbox, uh, my email box, that is. And this is going to be uh, replacing one of the current models. Uh, let me see, uh, the Cobalt Blue, uh, which is going away. But the uh, this, one's, this one's sticking around. This is a permanent edition, or at least a new edition of it. So, very cool. Let's get inside here and see how it looks on the inside. Yep, very nice. You have these two silver rings flanking the threads here. Uh, as always, these threads are nice and blocky. You can probably see, uh, there you go. They're nice and blocky. So they're gonna be sharp no matter where you hold this thing. It's a very comfortable pin to hold. And this is the you, the um, sort of the basic, I don't know what to call it, the, the base model size of the SD, the regular SD size. It is a perfectly good uh, size pen to hold on to for me. This is the oversized version of the pen, which is, uh, <laughs> it's larger in pretty well every dimension uh, by, by a fair amount. It's a lot longer, it's thicker, uh, all that jazz. This is a bigger pen, and this is actually my first SD. You can see I also went for palladium trim on this one. And I reviewed this way back when these first came out. 
uh, slightly different configuration for the, the threads and all that sort of thing. This is also the MV converter, the modern to vintage converter section, which lets you put in your favorite uh, vintage Estabrook nibs. My favorite is this one right here. This is the 2314M, which as you can see is slightly oblique. It's a bit of a stub. This is a really nice uh, nice nib. It's, it's my favorite Estabrook nib by quite a ways. Um, I tried the broad version of this nib and it was fine, but I, the medium is just the best. It does look a little bit small on this pen. You can get this section for these new pens if you like. Also, if you're into, um, they come with a, a custom Yovo nib. They're made for them by Yovo specifically uh, is what I'm told. You can also get these with custom grinds uh, like the uh, the Journaler nib, which I reviewed alongside the Camden a little while ago, which is done by my friend Gina Cellarino. And uh, they do a really nice uh, medium sort of stub. It's a little bit sharper than a regular stub, a little bit uh, a little bit uh, calmer than your, your your italics, your formal italics. Very nice nib there. You can also get them with something called the Scribe, which is an adjustable architect nib, which is done by uh, Josh Lax, I want to say. Let's see what these look like when you trade them. So when you trade these out, you actually have to trade the whole the whole section. So you end up with a, uh, a, a sort of a chunky material here. I, I, I'm not going to tell you all a secret. I didn't like these chunky, chunky materials when these first started coming out a few years ago. Actually, I guess they've been around forever. But until the last year or so, I just really haven't found any that I really liked. But this one, this one is real good looking. So whew, I like it. And I actually like it with this, uh, this black section and the, <laughs> and the, uh, the vintage nib, I think, uh, <laughs> I think looks more proportional to this pen. So that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I like when you open up a pen and you get a bit of a surprise with the section and I'm actually okay with the all black section on here. Let's see if the reverse is true. Let's put this one in the oversize. So the body of this pen is a different size, but the, the section and all that jazz is the same. And that's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice as well. So you have the Estabrook SD with the black. And you open it up, you get this little pop of uh, of chatoyant, uh, almost celluloid looking stuff here on the section. That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I like that. Also, I want to point out that you get the uh, the cushion close system on here, which kind of makes the the lid pop off a little bit when you when you unscrew it. As you said, as you said like there, no, it didn't pop this time. But you get a little bit of a pop, and that seals off this, uh, this inner cap against the lip of the section. And it works really well. It keeps your nib from going dry. And, uh, and I like it. Let's put these back together the way they're supposed to be. Do hold on to your pin body when you uncop these because that, that cushiony clothes thing. Sometimes we'll just pop the pin off a little bit more energetically than you were, uh, than you were expecting. So there you have it, the Estabrook SD in... Uh, Nouveau blue and also I am told if you uh, act quickly while supplies last you can get this notebook with it This came in the box here. I'd set it aside There you go. Nouveau blue Esterbrook Esterbrookpens.com. I wonder who makes these a little calendar in the back. This is like a this is a, the writing journal This is pretty nice. I like this paper. I want to This feels like Fabriano paper Fabriano Ecoqua. I'll bet you a dollar that's an Ecoqua notebook. That's nice. All right. If it is, that paper writes really well and it's very nice to use. Also, fun cover. Somebody just like deep in thought. What should I write next about these flowers and this mist? All right. Let's get out of here. I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Peace out.